For today's video guys, I will be sharing to you on how to make subscription button anime using our KineMaster. Hi guys, it's me again MJ and welcome back to my channel. If you are new on this channel, please don't forget to hit the like and share and subscribe my channel. And please hit the notification bell so that every time when I have new upload, you will be notified. It's another tutorial and I hope you will learn something about this tutorial. So for today's video guys, I will be sharing to you on how to make subscription button anime using KineMaster on our Android mobile phone. We need to put subscription button anime on our video so that it helps remind our viewers to hit that subscription button down there, the red one, and uh, turn it to gray and also hit that bell in order for our viewers to be updated whenever we upload new videos on our channel. That is the importance of having this subscription button anime on your videos to remind our viewers to subscribe our channel. I'll be using KineMaster in this tutorial and I will show you how. Please keep on watching! Before we start, we need to have these images to use. We need to find these images in Google and download it. I will show you how. Now open the Google and search subscription button and you can find a lot of subscription button and just choose one and download it and after you download it will be saved into your mobile you need to have background eraser to erase the background of the image because we only need the image of it the only thing that will appear will be the image only and uh, that is why we need background eraser so that we can achieve the right image and after you erase the background, then you need to save it and it will be saved into your mobile. Now we are ready to make our subscription button anime. On our Android mobile phone, we will open our KineMaster. Now we will click the landscape and it will lead you into this page. And now we will click the media and then click the background. Choose the white one and then adjust it and then you can change the color of it into green and now we will start to put an image on it now we need to click the eraser file because our images are there so you have to choose the image that you need to put in there and then just drag it where you put and then adjust the image and adjust also the duration of it just do the same to all the images that you need to put on your subscription button anime and until you finish then just adjust it after you adjust the images then it's time for us to put the cursor to point the subscribe button and also the notification bell just adjust the size of it and then also the duration you need to adjust it now we will make the cursor move what we have to do is we just have to put the cursor down first and then click the key and then also go to the animation click the plus sign this and then move the cursor up then let's try to see if it works it moves so we will continue to the final move of the cursor move this and then click the key Go to the animation, click the plus sign, and then move the cursor to the bell, and then try to play it, and we will see if it will work or not. So as you can see guys, it works, so that is how to move the cursor. Now this time, we will try to move the bell. We need to duplicate this image, the bell, just click it, and click the three dot at the left side. And then click the duplicate move the duplicate image beside the original image now try to play it and check if it works and then try to see if where you can move your bell to start place the vertical line at the beginning of the duplicated image and then click the key at the left side now you can hold the bell and swing it to the left side like this 
move it slowly and then stop then move the vertical line to the right side and then stop there and click the animation plus sign and then now you can try to move the bell to the right side like this then move again the vertical line to the right side and then click the animation and then move the bell to the center so now we will try to see if it works so we need to move the vertical line backward and we will try to play it we'll see if it works so it works guys so that's how it moves so this is how it looks now so now we will put sound effect on our bell put the vertical line at the beginning of the duplicated bell and then go to the audio open the audio and then go to sfx asset and find the bells try the bell that you like by playing it and then click the plus sign if you want to add it move the line a little bit and then add again another sound effect and then try to listen to the sound effect if it's the right one just play it so we will see how it looks like now so now we will put an in animation of every images that we put click the image and then go to in animation and then choose what you want just do the same to all images in this images I choose the pop in animation so this is how it looks like now with the in animation of every images so now we will adjust the duration of every images after you adjust all the duration of the images, then we can now proceed to put a sound effect on our images. In doing this, just follow the procedure on how we put the sound effect of the bell. In these three images, I choose the whoosh sound effect. And then after you put the sound effect, don't forget to check it by playing it from the beginning and try to listen to it. And we need to put also the sound effect of our pointer so just put it where you point the word subscribed and add the mouse click sound effect and also we need to put the sound effect of the mouse click on the bell after you put everything then you need to check your work by playing and replaying it all done and now this is our subscribe button animation Now click the export and it will be saved into your mobile. So this is how to make it guys, very easy and simple. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you learned something and if you learned something, don't forget to hit the like and share and subscribe my channel. And please hit that notification bell so that every time when I have new upload, you will be notified. And as I always say, Live a life to the fullest and be happy always. And God bless us all. Thanks for watching and see you next time on my next video. Bye!